Indian is so rich that only the oil deposit only the oil deposit in one block selling a barrel of oil at a hundred dollars the amount of money we will get you can share that money to eight million ambazonians each ambazonian will have two thousand five hundred dollars I, are you seeing the kind of mindset listen to to the the, the language of uh, poor people with poor management skills with little idea about development i want to start by saying this video is designed for cameroonians below the age of 40 who believe that we can achieve peace unity freedom and prosperity in cameroon without violence if you are above the age of 40 and you believe in this initiative we welcome you if you are above the age of 40 and you believe in violence then this video is not for you our problems are man-made and therefore they can be solved by man <laughs> listen to their language you take it sell it and distribute the money and you have two thousand five hundred dollars really really are you guys listening how can we refine it that, that is somebody who is thinking about development how can we refine it in cameroon how can we serve our people with that oil right yes how can we preserve some for the next generation we let's sell it all and we can have the money distributed among ourselves are you guys understanding the motivation of this fighting it's about the oil and how they can have access to it uh i was doing a research and on nation building uh the tutor said something very powerful he said those who always criticize the government for being corrupt or criticize certain members in society for being corrupt is because they are the ones not benefiting from what they are labeling as corruption if they were benefiting from what they label as corruption it is not corruption even within this struggle some of you have benefited financially you do not label that as corruption one block in Bakasi a simple block has 250 million barrels of proven reserves of crude oil take a pen and a piece of paper not the next one 208 billion did you hear that? 208 billion cubic yards of natural gas in Bakasi. According to Pertoa Resources, an estimated 1.2 billion barrels of oil are still available in the Rio de Rey. Are you understanding the reason why they are fighting? It's not for any independence. It's not to have control over their land. It's because of the resources in their land. That is the substratum of this war. They want to have control over those resources and i have a question for you who is fighting on the ground in what nation have you seen that individuals like this take over and then they sell the oil and distribute the money among the citizens which nation have you seen that happening and some of you watching financing giving in your money you think that somehow if they achieve their objectives they are going to give you some of the money 
This is the trap that you find yourself in. Greed. Let's inspire our people to work hard. Human resource is the most valuable resource. Let's look at people. And, and that is why I'm advocating that we come together and build our nation. Empower the private sector. All this government talk, all this resources talk will take you nowhere. You will waste your life and waste the lives of the next generation. Or let's sit on the table and talk. Talk about what? About 1961? That's how stupidly rich Indian is. And stupidly... And I want to let you know, Congo is, is one of the most richest nations in Africa in terms of resources. But do you see what is happening over there? When you pick up an oil fight, because that's why you should understand their motivation. Don't just say, oh, we are fighting because I went and applied uh, for a job and I didn't get it. That is why we are fighting. No, there, there is a motivation. There is a motivation as to why they are fighting. You, you get what I'm saying? Libya, that was rich in resources. Where is Libya today? The same people that Gaddafi took care of turned around and fought him and destroyed everything that he built. That is what happens when people don't work for themselves and build their nation. And they hope that somehow a leader emerges and work for them and they just fold their arms and enjoy. They close a factory in the 60s. You never built any again till today. They shut down your banks. You never erected new ones till today. You're complaining about something that was closed down 60 plus years ago. Yet you've been able to put money together and fund a war. And you never thought about putting money together to build another bank. Are you guys understanding what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? Uh, in the beginning, it was the, the factories that are closed. Now they've gone, sparked up a fight. Now it's about the people that they killed and the raped. They will always have new stories to tell to keep you in this loop. These individuals don't get tired. I'm telling you, they are having fun. They are having a good time. In as much as the money is coming in, they are having a good time. Their motivation is oil. And if they manage to take over that territory of which is a, it's an illusion, if they manage to do that, you all will get nothing out of it. These are the people that want to benefit out of that. And somehow they entice you into thinking that if they take over and they sell it, they're going to give you some. None is coming to you. That is why you got to jump on the train, learn some skills, and be able to produce and build your own economy. Learn negotiation skills. If you are living in Cameroon and things are not working, we've never had classes just to teach our people how to negotiate. How to sell your own idea, even to an enemy that you presume is an enemy. How do you sell a good idea that can help everyone move forward? This is the time that we, we start training our young people to learn how to interact with society because that's what happens with us. Even in the diaspora, we end up getting jobs. We cannot start businesses and negotiate and run successful businesses. It is not Cameroon, right? If it was Cameroon, that is the problem. In the diaspora, we should have more Cameroonians running businesses we don't have that why because we don't learn negotiating skills we have low self-esteem we go out there and we think all we have to do is get a job clock in and get a paycheck at the end of the month that is our story to change that paradigm it, it, it needs work we have to understand first step we have a problem here we don't know how to do business like other nations are doing, like the Chinese are doing, like the Americans are doing, like the Russians are doing. They negotiate for themselves when they step in. That, that is why most of the Chinese come in here, they start a business. We come in here, we look for a job. This is our history. If you like this video and you want to watch another one, click right here. If you want to watch the entire video, click right here.